What is good everybody? I am back. I wanted to do a video about what I wanted Chase and Chains to become. My goals for Chase and Chains and how I see it evolving through the years to come. What I would like Chase and Chains to symbolize is that you can do whatever you want to. You have the right, the full right to go chase your dreams and chase your goals. So why is it that we look at some of these people, some of these professionals and think that I can never be them or I can never be this big YouTuber that I watch all the time. That mindset is not for Chase and Chains. Chase and Chains is fully to believe in yourself, to go set out goals, set out your dreams and go chase them to your fullest and go live them up. It doesn't ha necessarily have to be disc golf. Chase and Chains goes with disc golf, the chains, the basket, you know. Chase and Chains, chain, Chains is the word that can turn into anything, basically. Your career, um, maybe you want to go buy your first house, whatever it may be, like I said. All I would like to say through Chase and Chains is I want it to be based a, a metaphor that says, I'm going to go chase whatever my goals are right now. For me, that just ha so happened to be disc golf, so that is where the name Chase and Chains came from. Of course I have goals for Chase and Chains, what I would like to build the company as. As far as those go, I would love if one day I have a Chase and Chains store that is strictly a disc golf store, just like Hazy Shade is if you guys are in the Dayton area. I would love to have an actual store, either if it's an online store or if it's an actual retail store, I'm not completely sure yet, um, but I would like Chase and Chains to be its own store. I don't know necessarily if I would like to go in the disc side of it or if I would just to be a retailer for these other disc companies. The other big goal I have for the brand itself is that I would love to be able to sponsor other players, whether that be some of my buddies, Austin maybe, whoever it may be, I would like to have a Chase and Chains team um, where they go out and compete. Maybe they're on social media, social media team and a competitive team. Whatever it may be, I would like personally to be able to have an actual Chase and Chains team. But those are the th three biggest things for Chase and Chains, I think for me, um, for the company itself, is one, to inspire, two, to have its own store, and three, let's have an actual Chase and Chains Team. For the YouTube aspect of Chase and Chains, first off, I have wanted to be a YouTuber all my life. I really like creating videos. I like editing. The small editing that I do, I really enjoy. So I'm looking to grow as an editor and a creator in that aspect. Also, I want to just completely grow as a disc golfer and get better at the game and take you guys along for that journey. I would like to think that right now, I'm sure there is more things, but right now what comes to my mind for the YouTube aspect is one, like I just said, take you on the journey with me, try and help you guys learn as I'm learning. Next is, honestly, I would just like to grow the sport. I'd like to contribute into growing the sport of disc golf. I think it is obviously bloomed over 2019 to now. I would like to be a contributor to that as well. And that is why I want to share my disc golf experience. And lastly, the biggest one for me in the YouTube is that I would just like to travel. If I can make creating videos and traveling my career, by all means, sign me up. Eventually, like to get a van. I would like to build a van out or a small RV, whatever it may be. And I would like to just travel the world, meet you guys, play new courses, play courses all over the world and see some of the different disc golf courses and how big it is in some areas. Like when we went to Michigan, I felt like disc golf was huge, but I have definitely met some of you guys through Instagram, through YouTube, I would like to continue doing that. I, I, I do really think that would be a lot of fun. Honestly, I think I have shared the majority of this. If there are new things, then I am sure it'll come up eventually. Or if there's something I'm missing, which is quite possible. Hopefully this covered pretty much all of my goals, all of the brand Chase and Chains goals, all of the YouTube and social media goals. I feel like the YouTube is more for me. I feel like the brand Chase and Chains is just more for you guys, more of an inspiration and actually trying to motivate you guys to go do what you would like to do in this in this world. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go follow Chase and Chains underscore on Instagram where I post it daily and we'll see you on the next one.